Hello and welcome to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. Let's see where we left off here last time. Uh, that's right. Oh, that's right. Okay, so I might just go straight to this quest here. Okay, I don't want to get too distracted today. Get straight on to some main quests. Story moving a little bit. Let's go, boy. Yep. Can I help you there? Sure. We're supposed to be my business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe, about some horses. A fellow with a scar and a Mexican. Yes, sir. Out by the stables. Thank you. Have a wonderful day now. Everybody and everywhere there's trouble. Who are you? Like I said, we had a run of bad luck in the West. And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. The hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants! I don't know. Mongrels! Slave fuckers! All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you... 5,000. 5,000? For horses? Easy. And where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove? Fellow over there will run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Go to the stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbred. Crazy old fool. You should see the Braithwaite woman. Jose and Sean were planning on going over to the Braithwaites. Haven't seen them? No, not yet. If they're there already, they better keep their heads down. We don't need this to be any more complicated than it already is. Five thousand dollars for horses. <laughs> We've been robbing the wrong folk all these years. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But if we get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. So how are we gonna play this? The place is well guarded. 
So there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. Careful. There's a guard. I'll speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. Our partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. <sighs> but perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay, then. But... Head on up to the stables. Someone will come see you. Orderly. Easy. No need to rush. We don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. Oh. All right. I think that's the stables just up ahead. Heads down. Play cool. We'll head around the front. Hitch up there. Hitch up here. And let's pass you. You can rest now, boy. Let me do the talking. Okay, this thing's got a bit. I don't know. you boys I hope so heard you got some horses we always got horses fine horses I mean I don't get you friend yeah you do come on listen why don't you get out of here you scarface and your greaser buddy whoa I don't like officials we ain't officials we're connoisseurs looking to do some breedings come on now partner okay fine follow me these here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working that's what you're interested in what is your boys interested in we represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga is that so unofficially of course well, this here's Cerberus here you go boy a hot greaser huh okay bandanas on don't need nobody Recognizing us. All right, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. <laughs> Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Easy there. Easy. <laughs> Marston, you're going to tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're going to lead the stallions. This way. Come on. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Get going, you two. I'll watch What the hell you doing? Stop! Stop! Put me around! I said stop these men! Stop! Oh, damn what? Watch out by that wagon! Whoa! 
is that. Come on. See if we can get rid of them in the trees. Clemens Cove is just over there. Come on. Let's get this over nice. with. Right. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. <laughs> you think they look like they're paying 5000 for horses? I guess we'll see. Come on, now. What you boys want? Heard you was, uh, heard you paid good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother, Clive. We're twins. <laughs> John, Arthur, <laughs> Javier. So what are you, Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That's so? Maybe. Why, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah. Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They, they ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you... I can give you 650 for them. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right. You goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again, I hope. Come on. Yeah. Close the gate, Clive. Believed a yarn spun us by one of that Gray family and imagined we was going to be wonderfully rich. At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. <laughs> oh, that's good to know. Good morning, Arthur. Morning, man. Oh, right, let's see what Dutch has got to say. Arthur. What well, now? You sweating yet, Dutch? Of course I'm sweating. 
We're in some disease-ridden, swampy, Dixie-whistling shithole. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunters. Well, not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. Until we know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So? So, I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to. Take Charles with you. Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. <laughs> okay. How'd you like Charles? Charles, I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. Oh, that's a legendary. Easy. Count Charles. Where are we going? Dutch wants us to have a talk with Trelawney about these bounty hunters who are coming for us. Hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming from. Okay. And you're deputies now. <laughs> Something like that. As soon as we laid eyes on that fool of a sheriff who runs that town, I... Hold Morning, up a fella. second! Come on, we gotta stick together. Now, I was saying, as soon as we laid eyes... <laughs> on that fool of a sheriff who runs that town. I knew Dutch was gonna play him like a fiddle. On the run from one bunch of lawmen, working for another. Interesting. Hiding in plain sight, Dutch calls it. Hmm. <laughs> so, spirits seem good. In the new camp, I mean. We got some space between us and that mess now. Ain't seen no more Pinkertons for a while. There's these bounty hunters, of course, but Dutch don't seem too worried about it. Can't believe they're still coming after us. We didn't even get away with the money. Yeah, but they don't know that. Of course. Trelawney. I've only met him a couple times, but he's... Oh. Someone got here first. So it seems. By the looks of things, it wasn't a social call. Check the house. Still some shit over here. This food's barely touched. Looks like he left in a hurry. Sapphires, <sighs> all the shiz and things. Found anything? What do you think? Recently, I'd say. Look, I guess maybe uh, 12 Come hours on. ago. But no body? Not yet. There's some blood here. That ain't good. What are you doing? Let's go. They 
went down the path here. How's your tracking these? Tracking's good. All right, I guess. <laughs> well, lead the way then. Not the kind of place I'd expect to see Trelawney staying in. Normally scams himself into the best hotel in town. You know. Me and Javier went down with Trelawney to get Sean. After the bar fight? I swear, he talked the whole way and never actually said a damn thing. I thought you knew. That's his special talent. They could be 20 miles away by... We can track them that far if we need to. Depends on how much you want to find them. Yeah. I still ain't sure about that. Hey, look. They can... ...from the other side of the tracks. Hey, look. Let's go see what those fellas have to say. What's wrong, Arthur? Excuse me. Yeah. Have you seen him? <clears throat> we're, uh... We're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. Ah, <laughs> uh, you seen a strange sort of fella? Sort of formal? Strange? Sure. Formal? Nah. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. Yeah. All right, you two. Where the hell is he? You both better get out of here. Come in. You better make the next. Who do you think you are? You stay there. It's Trelawney. I don't know anything. Tell me where he is. You go to hell. You better tell me now, you son of a bitch. Okay. Okay, for Christ's sake. They took him to a cabin. Over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? Left. Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. Let me see you again, you hear me? You got lucky there, my friend. Maybe I should have killed him. Come on, let's go. Follow me. I think there's a way around so we don't have to go through the Braithwaite's place. Yes. I've spent enough time there. After you, then. You okay? I'm good. What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a hundred things. Just depends if any of them involve us. You think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. He don't know how not to talk. He don't know where we're holed up, though. At least I don't think he does. I don't know why Dutch still deals with him. Always disappearing for weeks on end. He's got his uses, and, well, loyalty matters to Dutch. Of course. But is Trelawney loyal? Yeah, kind of. I guess Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal. Just got a big mouth. Don't worry. If he talked, I'll goddamn find out what he said. Nothing's ever straightforward where Trelawney's involved. Learn that much. I mean, how much time have we wasted getting this fool out of trouble? He somehow manages to be both lucky and unlucky at the same time. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. But he always finds some way to pay us back. Just when we think about cutting him loose, he brings us something big. 
I guess that's his special talent, keeping fish on the line. That must be it. Let's get you out of here. Come on, boy. The thing is, after that attack, this will be remembered like a good time. Put the man down, gentlemen. Is that the lot of them? I, I think so. Uh, so you're uh, alive. Allegedly. Well, don't worry. They won't be for much longer. Okay, go get them, Arthur. I can handle this. Don't deal with them, my brothers! Don't let them get away. Could have told them anything. Quick, find them! They're trying to hide in the fields! Sons of bitches. I think there's one over here. I will find you, bastards. Something on the ground over here. I did say that. He's dumped his gear. Look around. He can't have gone far. Keep searching. He's around here somewhere. This area. Oh, what? Charles. He's mine. Let me take him. You get out of here. You have my friend. He's not your friend. I'll give you money. Be quiet. <laughs> Taking the money. <laughs> no, I'm a fool. Oh, shit. Thank you. The gunshots are coming from that barn. Come on.
He's backing off inside. Get after him. There he is. Take him out. Where? I can't see shit. I'm hit. Good. You should be the last of them. <sighs> all right, let's go back for Trelawney. You all right? Yeah. Never goes easy, does it? it sure it right. don't. Come on. Let's go see how badly they beat up the slippery fella. I wonder how much trouble he's brought with him. Uh, guess we'll soon find out. Seems like we can't catch a break now, Arthur. Our luck's nice. held this long. Oh, we got out wow. of scrapes in this one. Mm, so Damn. I heard. <laughs> sure. What's government agents and bounty hunters to us? Uh, I hope you're right. That's nice. Block rifle, beautiful. Anything else in here? Card up here. It's just extraordinary. Still here at least. Put your feet up, why don't you? You okay? Never finer. So, who was they? Uh, they were bounty hunters. Uh, attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't looking for me, per no. se. What you tell them? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. Come down here from Oregon. Looking for a job at the university. Of course, they didn't believe me. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep hearing. It might be best if I stay with you gentlemen for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles. You take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. Is that wise? Yeah, we know where we are. There always seems to be more, more and more civilization. I want to get back in the open country of the West or what's left of it, but well, even that ain't the way I remember it. Okay. Let's see what. Oh, actually, I should have mail, shouldn't I? Might look quiet, but I am always on top of things. I should get a decent oh, amount of hello. cash. Been a while since you were around this way. Looks chunk. Took it. That's it. Hmm. Jesus. All right. Bye. Land for Southell. It'd be pretty sick if 
our land. Any bounties? Mm. Alright, well... Let's go back and build. All right, let's do build. I've recently finished playing Halo Reach, which I thoroughly enjoyed, and uh, just started playing Halo. Number one, first Halo ever came out, and uh, it really is bringing back some amazing memories. So nostalgic. Oh, what the! Expected. So, like I was saying, <clears throat> Halo Combat Evolved, uh, the remastered edition, of course. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, I just, just love it and what they've done. Um, the remastered edition is quite stunning actually, they've done an incredible job. It's, as far as a 20 year old game goes. It is more playable. So I'm enjoying the story. I'm glad I played Reach first because it did it literally follows directly on after Reach. So it's just a nice bit of background story to have. Come on now, boy. But playing something linear after playing so many open world games is it's kind of refreshing. You know, you've got a really sort of focused yep. uh, sort of quest goal. A quick game. I think I, I think I did reach in about. I put up four videos, so oh my god, it must have only taken me about five or six hours to finish. Very short game. But feeling Halo Combat evolves substantially longer than that. So I'm looking forward to posting the playthrough, the whole playthrough of. Combat Evolved, so yeah, feel free to check those out. Who is that? It's me, Charles. It's me. Good to see you back, Arthur. All right, let's just go and see if Bill feels a bit of a character. Arthur, we need to talk to you. What is it? We got something cooking you might be interested in. Am I gonna like the sound of this? Been cooking since Horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and I don't know, I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. 
It was just one of them things. Now, how come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. <laughs> All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? <laughs> Hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> oh, God. You really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. Ain't it for serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> no, it's never that okay, easy. I suppose it's worth taking a look at least. I'm gonna be performing. I better go get changed out of these rags. Give me a minute, gentlemen. Okay. So, Bill, this better be good. It is good. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Strauss. That man, the debtor, Thomas Downs. Apparently, he's dead. Dead. Huh. Well, hey, he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. We lent them a lot of money. Okay. Mm -hmm. Gentlemen, let's go rob ourselves a bank. What's the plan, then? Oh, we're gonna send Karen on in ahead as a uh, distraction. Then we're just gonna rush on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a little town. Nothing that big in way of security. We just need to bring you along as a uh, insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, let's move out. Okay, I'm gonna need plenty. It's my general health plan. I just feel like my core. this time I don't know fellers always like the lost little girl but nobody plays a drunken harlot quite like me it should work once he's got him distracted we'll move in when I was scouting the place the other day there was only a couple of guards we deal with them and any customers who are feeling brave and you always fancy yourself as the vault man right Arthur now I see why you brought me Hey, I'm more than willing. Nah, best I do it. Oh, and did Dutch tell you I've also been cooking up some deals with them gray boys? What? No. What kind of deals? See, you don't realize, Morgan. I'm out there putting in the work same as you. I've been drinking with them a couple times now. Seems they're looking for some extra security. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Could be something in it for us. Well, just be smart about it. You got a lot of irons in that fire right now. Yes, I know, Morgan. Can't believe you got me going back to Valentine. Don't tell me it ain't hurt you leaving that bank behind. Not really. Work a town and not hit the bank? <laughs> That's downright pathetic. I guess we went a bit beyond working it. We shot the place to hell. You did, Morgan. Not me. I played it cool up there. Couple of punch-ups. Dealt with some old Driscolls. Ah, oh, is that right? Like I said, you mess up, it's just one of them things. I mess up. I'm the prize idiot. Well, Bill... I don't know what to tell you. 
Surprised you ain't already ripped me about that dynamite again. One mistake, and I'll never live it down. What do you need? A pat on the back? A medal? Just know, I got the lead on this one. We'll see about that once things get going. through. You rob Cornwall's train. We shoot a heap of his men in Valentine. We rob his stagecoach. This is just dawning on you now. And now, we're going back to the one place he knew where to find us. That's the genius of it. Folk never look at what's right under their nose. I ain't sure that's always true. What's happened to you? You're getting real nervy in your old age. The last few weeks happened. Forget about Cornwall. He can't have many men left at this point. Got a bit hairy in that barn, but we all walked away fine from that. Didn't walk away with much. If four of us could deal with them in Valentine, and four of us could deal with them after the coach robbery, I ain't too worried. If you say so. need to move quick once we're in Valentine. I'm sure they ain't forgotten us. Of course! In and out! Dutch is gonna love this. Let's get it done first. Horses here off the main drag. All right, gentlemen, here we are. Okay, get ready. Are you gonna buy me a drink? Yeah, go to work. Of course. All right, keep it cool and follow me, fellas. Still building that thing. So, we never decided. Is it lost little girl you want, or the drunk in Harlem? So, which one? Uh, I think I'd like to see the little girl lost. So even you long to save the fallen women, eh, Arthur? You break my heart. <laughs> you really do. <laughs> if you're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. Okay, we're going. No, hold on. Wait till she's gotten real dead. I, I was child, and if I don't want to go back to the workhouse. Get your goddamn right. hands go. up! This is a goddamn robbery! Nobody move! No word up! Nobody move! Don't make us hurt you! Here! Unlock the door! Okay, the door's unlocked. Okay, well.
This door? Oh, that door. Shit. From another. Who's got the vault? Cause it ain't me. Oh, you think we're here? Open the goddamn vault! Open it! Come on. How's it going in there? Too slowly. You better get that door open right now. I'm nearly there. Too slow. Too goddamn slow! Son of a bitch, hurry up! Come on! Okay. Son of a bitch! Hurry up! I'm in! Someone come make sure the shoot behaves himself in here. Come here. <clears throat> Open the lock boxes now. I, uh, the, the, the manager does that. Uh, I. God damn it! Now what? Guess I'll crack them or blow them up. Keep an eye out. I'll be as quick as I can. Yeah, I think I should be able to crack these. All okay. right, but you uh, better be quick. <clears throat> You shut the hell up and stay still! as I can. This is slower, but it's quiet. Okay. I hear people out there. Me too. Boys, you need to move this along! Hey, watch him there. Don't worry. I see him. I'll go check the front. How's it looking there? Good. Told you. Don't count your chickens just yet. Please, let me go. I, I won't say nothing. I swear. Shut the hell up and stay where you are. Bill, how's it going in there? We're getting there. Give me more minutes. That's another one cleared. This is looking good. How much longer? Nearly there. Okay, you reckon that's enough now? Maybe. Yeah, it's never enough. Well, I am ready to get the hell out of here whenever yeah, you are. Too, come on. That's a decent stash. Last one. Good. We gotta move. Let's do this. I think... Uh, I think we're fine. Come on, I'll lead the way. Let's go. Everybody, stay calm. Count to a hundred and keep your mouth shut. You understand me? Got him. 
nervous. <laughs> oh shit, take cover. Are we riding out? Oh, okay. Another bounty to pay off. We lost them. Thank you, gentlemen. That was a that good hole. Stupid and dangerous. Good Thank old. you, Bill. We're alive and we're paid. <laughs> yeah. I don't see the problem. Yeah, and that is the problem. <laughs> Bill, <laughs> this you. is a very good take. That you'll be happy, even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Ah, it was fun. <laughs> well, maybe you're right. Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp. And make sure you ain't followed. <sighs> okay. This is Downs. Yeah. Downs Ranch. Oh. I don't want to hassle this poor woman. Yeah, no, she's not. I think I'll pay my bounty off after that, too. This is 
gonna be through there. My husband's not cold in the ground, and you come back here, aren't you? I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out, but he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good, and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you've as good as killed him yourself, and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? You should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. Well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day. Back to camp, that'd be nice. Well, I'll just go and stand and watch this beautiful sunset. And we'll call that a session. I think it is. Sound of his own voice. Yeah, no problem, Dutch. All right, well, I'm going to call that a day. A couple of decent quests completed there. So, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, please come back for more. I'll continue this shortly, and also feel free to check out some of my other videos, in particular the Halo. Thank you very much for joining me. Have a great day. See you next time.